Hello, that's Haley with the Armageddon Report. There is Armageddon to talk about. Mild Armageddon is possible. On the Ar Armageddon scale, there's a slight risk of Armageddon today. Anyway, we move on to where we talk about the Eastern Pacific. And if you live on the East Coast, you should pay attention to this next bit. After this. So a letter has apparently gone post-tropical. So that apparently is now the last National Hurricane Center advisory that will be issued on a letter. So a letter is still hanging out, but apparently I don't know what they declare post-tropical. I have to look that up at some point. But apparently so they're no longer going to be issuing advisories on a letter, maybe because once it gets down to tropical depression, if it doesn't look like it's going to re-strengthen, maybe they stop issuing advisories. I don't know. Back behind a letter. 20% chance of tropical cyclone formation. Now, you mightn't think this, but guess who has the highest risk? The Atlantic. 50% chance of tropical cyclone formation. The season doesn't even start till June 1st for the Atlantic area, but there's a 50% chance that it's going to turn into, let's see if we can find, okay. So if you click on this, apparently you get the same text as that, and that way I can actually hover over it and pick out a sentence, and it could become a tropical depression or tropical storm as it moves slowly southward or westward over the next day or so. 50% chance that it will become a tropical cyclone in the next 48 hours. So North Carolina, South Carolina, depending on whether it goes southward or westward or whatnot, so there's some stuff actually going on out there. So yeah, we'll definitely keep a look at that. But there's also severe weather to talk about today. And then apparently not really the next few days. And in fact, let's pull up the warnings right now. I forgot to do that. There's seven of them or something. I see. See the map auto pan. So Florida has a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings. And then I don't know if this is the start of maybe the later on, or if this is maybe the first round. I frankly have not read the outlook. I'm bad. Right, so Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska all have to be a thunderstorm warnings going on right now. Right, let's pull up the mesoscale discussion. I generally, you know, pull this stuff up. Oh, apparently none of them are in effect. So it expired in the time between this page being loaded and now. So, yeah. So here's what's going on, 30% wind chance, 30% ch chance of hail, I'm trying to say hail chance too quickly and blend it into one word, and then a 5% tornado chance, and significant hail. So let's look at it. So 30% chance of severe winds, and then out here in Tennessee for some reason, 5%, and then we've got a slight risk going on in Florida, what's up with that? Same story on the hail, Florida has a slight risk down there. Tennessee has a 5%. And then, so what we have here is two different things going on. We've got the red area is where there's the highest probability of hail. So there's nearly, for any given point in this red area, there's nearly a 1 in 3 chance that someone at that point or within 25 miles of that point will see severe hail, which would be one or two larger. And then in the black hatched area is where significant hail, which is 2 inches or larger, is possible. So it doesn't mean that, you, that any hail that falls will definitely be significant, but means there's an enhanced risk that the hail will be large. Yes, in tornado terms, 2% chance, and then luckily just a small-ish area has the 5% chance. So that would mean, of course, pick a point and then that means there's a 5% chance that that point or someone within 25 miles of them will see a tornado tomorrow. Who knows what's going on with this? There's just squiggly lines everywhere. So we flip on over to here so we can see that we've got the 5% chance going on up there tomorrow and a 5% chance down there. Day after tomorrow, though, totally green. Nothing forecast, or at least as of this time. This is why you have to keep paying attention because it could change. Day 4 through 8, predictability too low, which means that if you were to read this, you might see that there, is, um, there isn't enough agreement either in timing or location for the Storm Prediction Center to put something on the map this far out in advance. So yes, if you are in uh, South Carolina, North Carolina apparently, and probably Florida, because if it were well, in Georgia too, if it were to book southward, Florida might get hit, I don't know exactly what it is. 
Let's see if we click on that. Nope, does not show you any kind of stuff. But look, it's out there on the radar. They win the next 48 hours, 50% chance. So if you have there, pay attention to that. And if you're in this area today, or this area down here, you should pay attention to uh, the thunderstorm-related severe weather at Wikiwix, W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com, or hang out at weather.gov, the Storm Prediction Center, wherever you like to get your weather. Yeah!